Okay, I want to show you a very simple way of making gold in the New World Summer Fur right now. It's relatively easy, but you might want to hurry up and get on it because if everybody is doing this, then the prices are going to go down, etc, etc. But let me jump into the game and show you what I'm talking about. So I'm not going to explain what the Summer Fur is or anything like that. What we are going to talk about mainly are the patterns and how much you can sell them for. So if you go to the Maestro guy here and you've already, you know, you go into his shop, you'll notice there's a reputation. Yes, it's ideal if you get this to full so you can get the orange ones but it's actually not that bad you can get away with making gold here by just getting to bad now keep that in mind bad's very easy to get so just to explain it's now monday or it will be by the time this video goes live and my reputation is full and i've got quite a few tokens and all that i have been doing to get here i have not been able to actually play the game very much this weekend so all i've been doing to get here is i've been going to each of these summer fur points there's four of them on the map one in brightwood one over here one here and one here right one down here i should say i've been going to the and all you do is on that dance floor over there you dance and you'll get some reputation i did that and then in every single town that you can capture so basically not the neutral ones although i've actually never checked the neutral ones you go and there's sort of like a thing in the middle of the town and you get a package from that that gives you reputation and tokens all i have done since thursday is every day i've collected them and by monday you will be completely maxed out with basically with your reputation you can farm it by doing the quests and stuff like that sure but you're looking at like four days if you don't farm it. If you try and farm like the fishing and the music in the medley bug places, you can probably get there much quicker, right? But I didn't do that. But as I said, you can actually make money by just being bad. Because when we look at these patterns, I'll explain that there's a key difference. I thought these patterns were going to be useless, right? Because I was like, oh, the green, like, what's the point of them? And that the orange ones where it was guaranteed 600 gears, I was like, well, they're the ones that are going to be worth like a shed ton of gold. And that is true. And considering it only requires the normal tokens, rather than premium tokens these are probably better like bang for your buck kind of thing but i'll buy one of each and i'll just show you right so i've not checked out the market yet so you can probably do that go on check out which one's worth the most gold i'm just going to pick the light pants now you can tell what's light and what's heavy with these three little light uh weights here somebody had to comment that in the comments because i was like oh i don't know what that is i've been playing this game for ages and never realized that i'm such a dope so here are the light pants these are uh, colorful kraken chaps i'm gonna buy a green one of these because i'm gonna show you how they work as well as how much i make if that makes sense and it's only 20 i've got 150 50 at the moment so really not that big of a deal and then i'll scroll down and i'll buy the same but for the legendary stuff here so this one the colorful kraken chaps obviously this one is 60 okay and then i'm actually going to show you how you would use them and why they're actually valuable so i've just uh, teleported to windward just to show you what i'm talking about about these trees they're not actually i keep calling them trees because they're a christmas event i don't know what to call them stages i guess anyway you click them and what you're going to get are these little packages you would also i think you get reputation as well uh, and if you don't it doesn't really matter it's still worth having because you get the tokens and then you get these little baskets you open these you get tokens and you get gold actually and the gold's quite a lot so you can go to every town and you get like 50 gold each you know you're gonna make uh, like maybe 500 thousand gold a, a day so it's actually worth doing anyway just on the next one though 128 gold so definitely worth doing anyway to show you what these patterns are i'm just gonna go to the forge it's actually the outfitter isn't it because i picked the light one so let me go to the outfitter and now there's a key difference between the orange ones and the green ones so the orange ones by default are level 600 right no matter what you put in well you can only put in like phoenix where you've ruined the last modium, you're going to get a gear score 600 and it's going to have elemental aversion and refreshing i think i called this bit it's not bis but it's quite good especially if you're like a fresh level 60 this is good because you craft it it's not affected by your expertise and you'll actually get an expertise bump so overall just a very good like um, thing you can pick constitution you can pick uh, dexterity whatever you want right you can pick any stat you want great very nice actually and it's just guaranteed gear score 600 and you don't actually have to have armoring to get it so it's really good for somebody who's just fresh level 60 or even beyond i mean there's some gear where i'm still rocking purple i could very easily upgrade it to this and then for the green stuff it's a little bit different yes you can still pick your stat as you can see on the right where it says attribute but notice the gear score now this is actually able to be crafted at gear score 600 you just have to make sure you get all of your trophies your outfits and all that kind of stuff right you know if i had my asmodium and i had all my materials here and i go get my clothes and i get the food and all that kind of good stuff you will be able to craft your normal gear score like 595 to 600 however keep in mind that it is random so you're not guaranteed to get the gear score 600 it's like your normal armoring stat so if you're fresh level 60 you're unlikely to get this to 600 unless you already have your full armoring in which case you know whatever but this will be able to craft a gear score 600 it's just that i don't have all my stuff on right now however what this green one is effectively is a timeless shard for your chosen pattern because you get to pick your stat here on the left like this changes your stat and you get to pick uh, a perk so you can pick your own perk obviously that's just a jank perk obviously the two other perks are random 
but that's basically what this is it's like a, it's a cheap chimeless shard effectively so these are actually quite good as well so this the orange one guarantees you gear score 600 good for like level 60s who are fresh or who want these two perks plus the random perk whereas the green ones are basically timeless shards and i'll just pop over to the trading post and let me just show you how much these are worth so the pattern of uh, colorful kraken chaps that's currently going for 4400 right beautiful obviously you can try and buy order it but that's a little bit like jank at the minute the difference is too great so i'm just going to sell it for 4400 and call it a day and then the green one here this is well look you can see you can sell this one just 4000 gold right there so um yeah this one's going for 2400 or you can just sell it for a thousand gold so like i think for the gold per token it's probably worth to sell the orange ones because i think the orange one was 60 tokens and this one was like 25 or something like that but it's actually getting quite close like when i think about that is that actually it's about the same really when i think about it so just you know there's some mass involved if you want to do it or if you don't want to do it just pick whatever you want and sell it you'll still make gold as long as people are after it i would probably stay away from the medium armor because i doubt that's as valuable but check it maybe on your server it is maybe on my server it is either way if i saw that for like what we see here i've just made six seven thousand gold and if i go farm some tokens by going around all of the towns again and maybe even fishing if i was that kind of guy which i'm not then you know you can get tokens you can make gold it's relatively easy and you don't have to be the full level because the green ones are still valuable now i haven't been following this but basically there are some items that are being used to craft the musical instruments and they're going for like quite a lot so if you've got any brilliant pearls just lying around maybe now would be the time to sell them because you can see they're quite expensive or you can indeed go and try and fish and get these i'm not actually sure where you get them from or whatever but you know you can go and try and get them there's quite a few things that maybe you just want to check the market and see what the current prices those pearls i think are one of the classic things i think somebody actually talked to me about oysters yeah oysters are also quite high i'm not 100 sure why i think i don't know if this is related to the pearl because you can salvage them and maybe you get the pearl but i don't know why the pearl would be cheaper than this i'm not that big into this i haven't been checking this out but just check your bank if you're like a fisher you might have some of these and you might just want to sell them now and then fish for them back later when you know the time comes but yeah that's just some really easy ways of making gold right now you can get to the green patterns very easily within one day so if you want to go out and farm those you can easy gold not much else to say let me know your thoughts in the comments below have a most beautiful day like and subscribe goodbye